rapper raised in GA and I'm all about the dough To make it rain though When the kids put my clothes I'm being cold for my kids A comfortable grill and a man SUV With five boots to seats Walk the plank, you are now shark food Yeah, I'm stingy with the loot Cause I'm saving it for food I'm on oh, Memories with uh with the Boys in the Hood soundtrack. We'll do another soundtrack next Tuesday. I like this. Uh, the number to the show is 404-382-0338. This song wasn't on the, on the uh, Boys in the Hood soundtrack, but mm, it's an Ice Cube song, so it just makes me feel West Coast-ish, uh, Boys in the Hood-ish <laughs> on the Doug Shore Show. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Shore Show dot com. I'll jump back in the chat on Spreaker dot com here in a second. But uh, unable to to find a trade, the New York Jets follow through Monday on their plan to part ways with Eric Decker, announcing that they released dude. The Jets received trade interest uh, for Decker, but his salary was a was a stumbling block. Mm, he had two years, fourteen point seven five million remaining on his contract. None of it guaranteed. The Baltimore Ravens who showed interest in a trade, agreed to sign veteran wide receiver Jeremy Macklin on Monday. That's right. So that, in effect, made that a uh, – turned that into a dead end. All told, the Jets have released or traded 11 veterans this offseason, a total of $68 million in savings. Um, with Decker gone, the Jets' top receivers are Quincy Inuawa, Robbie Anderson, who combined for just 122 career catches – Ardarius Stewart, rookies Ardarius Stewart and Chad Hansen drafted in the third and fourth rounds, respectively. In other words, the New York Jets are going to suck this year. Man, they really uh, hanging Todd Bowles out to dry. Like, they're not going to have nothing. They've already basically, uh, you know, given up on the season, and the season hasn't even started yet. But, I mean, that's what we used to from the Jets. One last little NFL story, man. Former NFL quarterback Bench Young, who signed with CFLs, the CFL Saskatchewan Rough Riders earlier this year, will miss the start of this season after tearing his hamstring. Coach Chris Jones told reporters on Monday, um, the Rough Riders opened their series on, or their season on June 22nd. This injury, a torn hamstring, sounds a whole lot more than four to six weeks, but that's what they're saying is that it's going to keep them out four to six weeks. Tear your hamstring, not pull your hamstring, tear it. That sounds pretty, pretty bad. Uh, Ryan, my brother, actually tore his growing muscle. Um, That's the thing that put him out of the the league pretty much. 
he tore his groin muscles pretty much. Is it, he tore it from the bone, and he tried to come back early, or tried to come back, and it wasn't totally healed, and he hurt it again, and the rest is history. Let's do the two live stews. So, y'all pray for Vince Young, man. I'm hoping he, him to have uh, some success in the CFL. It's really sad that Vince Young doesn't have a job in the NFL right now. He's still young enough to play. But, you know, it is what it is. That's how they do dual-threat quarterbacks and quarterbacks with athleticism or whatever. You need, to, you need to be a world breaker. You need to dominate where there's just no choice but to let you stay on the squad or – uh, go play in Canada. Peace. Beat it. Get the hell out. Uh, Vince Young, man, playing in Canada. From uh, Greg, oh, Golden State Warriors brings joy to all. He says, I saw a video of Gloria Govan in a strip hole class. I get it why Derek Fisher is strung out. Uh, she ain't all that. Fell pay. Says the Warriors win the championship and Doug spend the entire next day talking about their Lakers dreams. Shaking my head. So I talked about the Lakers for maybe five minutes, if that. Please stop it, sir. From uh, K Ugmo 3000, she Clay is as deadly as Steph. May not have the handles of Steph, but can but got a deadly shot. I agree. He's not that far off from Steph. And talking about Clay and Steph being the greatest backcourt ever in NBA history, as so so says Mark Jackson. And now a lot of people will will agree. From Andre Elon, fly tie Durant hair is like. They used to sing back in the day, every nap has a gap. <laughs> Laugh my ass off. Right. His head is peasy as hell in the back. That's an old school term, peasy. From, uh, let's see what we got here. Big Apple Bastard, B Hill, G Men owned that stanky, dirty bird. Man, you still talking about the damn Giants? Go ahead with that, man. Damn. From Al Thompson, how Doug going to threaten a young lady with that blue steel? Sorry, Nanu. Doug ain't got the sense God gave a billy goat. Whatever. I'm just saying, because we had a problem with that. Uh, what's the lady's name? Listry? Someone said we have a new person in the chat room. Letitia. Uh, uh, I said, shots out to Letitia. But I just gave her a, a, a subtle, you know, the warning. You know, don't come in here uh, acting all willy-nilly crazy in the chat room because we have a decorum that we have to uphold here in the in the chat room. That dude, big African, a couple weeks came in here, man, raising all kind of sand, and he's gone now. Uh, he's gone because he just didn't know how to act in people's chat rooms. Don't come up here just going crazy. Just be cordial to all your fellow chatters. Do to your fellow chatters as you would have them do it to you. That's the Doug Sure Show Golden Rule. From JY3, well, Golden State Warriors said they're not going to be at the White, Ho- White House, good for them. Wow! Uh, I haven't heard that. And I'm trying to find some uh, verification. I don't see it yet. Have they come out with a statement and said that they're not going to the White House? Okay. If that's, if that's the case, uh, good for them. Clemson, as a matter of fact, speaking of which, the Clemson Tigers went to the White House on yesterday? Or was it the day before yesterday? It might have been yesterday. And um, if you saw the video, man, you could see a lot of cats weren't happy about it. They went, I guess, just because they felt like they wanted to be with their team. Um, And I don't think they had anybody not go. That's fine or whatever, but, yeah. Um, If Golden State says they're not going, that'd be great. That'd be great. F-45, man. From Mr. Harper, VP of Ninjaville, Jets are in the Lamar Jackson sweepstakes. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about Lamar Jackson, man. I can't wait to see that young man again. From Grego, what are the Jets saving money for? Hackenberg throws a five-yard slant to the stairs. Uh, I, I guess they're trying to build up for next year, man. This year's a wrap. They've already done, you know, <laughs> they've already just laid down. They're giving away all the damn players trying to save money. I guess to go after free agents or guys coming out of college as was just put by my man Marcus Harper and talking about the uh, the Jackson, the Action Jackson possibility down the road. From Woody 504, either over no Vaseline, got to put, hit him up third on the list because the outlaws came in and messed up the song. I uh, And we were doing the research and finding some of these songs for uh, that we were going to play today on Tribute Tuesday. 
we were thinking about another movie soundtrack to highlight today. And you're listening to the Doug Short Show. And it had a couple of uh, DPG songs on it. Dog Pound Gangsters. We have it in two and a half years featured Dog Pound Gangsters. And I guess technically because they really didn't have a lot of stuff. But man, that first album that they came out with, very memorable. A lot of tracks on there. And they had a couple of songs on another movie soundtrack that we looked at thinking about doing today, uh, which we'll get to very soon here. I think it was the Above the Rim soundtrack. But man, they brought back some memories. DPG? Oh man, the music on that on that on that first CD was crazy, and I think uh, was it Dr. Dre that did their music, or was it hmm, was it DJ Quick, one of them West Coast producers? But man, go back if you if you a rap head, a rap connoisseur, if you a greenhorn, and you want to go back and listen to a tight CD album. Download, I guess you would call it now. Go back and get that first Dog Pound uh, record. Uh, yeah, you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. What was it called? Uh, name of the darn uh, rap was. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I apologize for this. I know this isn't good radio, but what the hell? The Dog Pound. So their first album was called um, Dog Food. That's right, 1995. And I remember it so vividly because I first that's when I first moved to Atlanta. So, man, now, uh, my brother used to kill that CD over in his little apartment <laughs> over there uh, off of uh, 85. And so I stayed with my brother for a couple of months when I first moved here. And, uh, man, they were killing that dog food, that, that DPG, Dog Pound Gangster CD back in 1995. Yes, sir. <laughs> Tiffany Poole in Portland, she says a lot of them Clemson Tigers were skinning and grinning and taking selfies with 45, stopped playing. Yeah, a lot of them were. But there were several that didn't look happy to me. But, yeah, you're right about that. Big L, X, Y, Big African is gone, but Big Apple Bastard is back. Dun, 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 dun. You're right. You are absolutely right. Could it be? Nah, it couldn't be. It couldn't be. <laughs> That's just crazy talk. Could it possibly be? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> no way. No way, Jack. Two different people, two different continents. Back in three minutes, the Doc Stewart Show. My words are direction, thoughts put down for perfection, for dead in minds, resurrection, for hard heads a lesson, two words to feel it, true confessions, daily movement, progression, handle minds with aggression, respect my essence not to get caught in intersections, like a lethal weapon, or safety for protection, here today, be here for tomorrow, planning like words and scriptures for you to follow, pay attention, not all man tasks, good intentions, lightly to stay in one dimension, put in place with discretion, know your rating this one, see how deep things get, pure elevation, Set it off to cure a nation. Here today, be here for tomorrow. Read it like words and scriptures for you to follow. My man. Here today, be here for tomorrow. Read it like words and scriptures for you to follow. My brah. Here today, be here for tomorrow. Read it like words and scriptures for you to follow. My seed. Here today, be here for tomorrow. Here today, be here for tomorrow. Cock this so it's balanced the bullets. We all hold. Full clips, ways of the world forever. Keep my peeps in bullshit. Drama that, another episode of the habitat. You see me ill and abstract. We live it real and that's that. Reality fact. See your brother lying on his back and another brother holding the gap. Cain and Abel had they be for a while back. Not for everything, niggas should react. 
Bodies dumped out on the floor like a Bruce video. You gotta see the show, you not living like you want more. My brother is my keeper. Spray a block with street sweeper. Heard the code of the sleeper. Why you wanna live how I for Grim Reaper? Live your life, get the thumping through your speaker. Only the few come around where the chosen run. You still have wits when I hold for bun. Of course, I never think twice about busting. You only get spared one cousin.